My dear faithful in Christ, as a servant of Christ and as a servant of the Armenian Apostolic Church, I myself, together with the faithful of the Western Diocese of the Armenian Apostolic Church, we congratulate our beloved Vehapar on the occasion of his 60th birthday. This is a special occasion for us all to give thanks to our beloved Vehapar for all he has done and continues to do for the rebuilding of the Mother See of Holy Etchmiadzin and the Armenian Apostolic Church. The past 12 years, our beloved Vehapar, His Holiness Karakin II, the Catholicos of all Armenians, has realized and achieved many, many God-pleasing missions, strengthening the foundations of our church and the Mother of Holy Esmiadzin. Through the building of new churches, renovating of monasteries, with the training of hundreds of young Armenians into the priesthood, through the establishment of humanitarian projects and missions, through the establishment of ecumenical relationships, through the strengthening of the bond between the church and the government, through the publication of religious books and countless other projects and missions, our beloved Vehapar has strengthened the Armenian church and the Christian life in the life of our communities, be it in Armenia and in diaspora. With the presentation of this video, you will have the chance to see and be a witness of the many projects and missions realized during his tenure as the Catholicos of all Armenians, as the head of the Armenian Apostolic Church. Let us all pray for the health and long life of our beloved Vehapar. May his 60th birthday be a blessed one and may the good Lord bless our beloved Vehapar. Amen. Valorize me, Lord, and support me. Grant the gift of lifting the cross entrusted me. I know the heaviness of your cross. I know as well its prowess. Garagin II, Supreme Patriarch of all Armenians. The 132nd Catholicos of the Armenian Apostolic Holy Church, Garagin II, was born on August 21, 1951, in the village Voskehat, in province Armavir. The roots of his family go back to Mush and Van. After the deportations, they settled in Aparan. Grigor Narcissian had a family with many children. My parents were pious, and since early childhood, all six of us children would attend regularly Mother C of Holy Echmiadzin with their guidance. From the interview given to Marmara, daily newspaper Marmara, October 10, 1994. The future patriarch received his primary education in the native village. His peers described him as active and interested in sports, but Providence had intended another path for him. My father would often ask in his prayers for his son to become a clergyman. And one day, after the holy liturgy, the bishop called my father to him and asked, Would you like your son to study in the seminary? My father was happy. But my mother was sad. My mother thought she would never see her son again after he entered the temple. From the interview given to Izvestia, daily newspaper Izvestia, March 15, 2001. 
Catholicos Vazgen first appoints the young man who graduated from the seminary with high honors as overseer's assistant. He is also entrusted with the instruction of the subject New Testament. In 1972, with the hand of His Grace Archbishop Tiran Nersoyan, he is ordained as a monastic priest renamed as Friar Garegin. The same year he journeys to Vienna in order to continue his education. Immediately after my operation, His Holiness Vazgen called and asked me about my plans. I responded that I intend to study the works of the fathers of our church. But I have other plans for you. I want to send you abroad to study theology, said the Patriarch and I immediately switched my hospital bed with the student seat in order to study German because before I had studied English. From the interview given to Izvestia, daily newspaper Izvestia, March 15, 2001. Parallel to studying in the theological departments of universities in Vienna, Bonn, Friar Garagin is appointed the spiritual shepherd of Germany's Armenian community in 1975. The co-mingling of education and spiritual service was a serious experience. After returning from Germany, I departed for Zagorsk with the blessing of the Armenian Patriarch in order to study in the Lyceum of the Russian Orthodox Church. A year later, the Patriarch surprisingly called me back to Mother Sea of Holy Etchmiadzin. From the interview given to Marmara, daily newspaper Marmara, October 10, 1994. The chief vicar of the Ararat Patriarchal Diocese, Archbishop Komitas Ter Stepanian, had fallen terribly sick abroad and couldn't return to Armenia. Friar Garagin is appointed as assistant to the chief vicar. In May 1982, he defends his priestly thesis and beginning from April 1983, is appointed the chief vicar of the Ararat Patriarchal Diocese. In the same year of 1983, His Holiness Vazgen ordains him as a bishop. The 32-year-old bishop Garagin was the youngest of all the bishops in the Armenian Church. During the initial years of my practice, surely there were not many opportunities because an atheistic ideology used to reign in the country. But when Armenia became a free and independent country, and when the Church had the opportunity to fully implement its historic mission, broad horizons for practice were opened for us. From the interview given to Marmara, daily newspaper Marmara, October 10, 1994. Under the auspices of the Ararat Patriarchal Diocese, Vazgenian Lyceum is founded in Sevan in the year 1989. This was one of the first steps of the Armenian Apostolic Holy Church's reawakening, which would be continued due to the efforts of the young bishop. In 1990, Bishop Garagin founds the Youth Union of the Armenian Church and a Center for Christian Upbringing. Nearly 150 teachers take religious courses in order to teach in the newly opened Sunday schools with a focus on Christian upbringing. These schools are adjacent to churches. In the class sessions of the Ararat Patriarchal Diocese's structures, teachers are trained as well as from other Armenian dioceses. In 1992, Bishop Garagin undertakes a new project which would continue in other dioceses as well. The former pioneer palaces of the Soviet era are granted to the Armenian Apostolic Church. The buildings get reorganized as Armenian sons' houses, where thousands of children, even today, receive religious and aesthetic education. The bishop's work gets appreciated, and in 1992, with Vazgen I's blessing, Bishop Garagin is given a royal honor and title. I am glad that with God's blessing I was able to do some works. 
I rejoice when I visit Armenian sons' houses, or the Lyceum in Sevan, or when I watch the television programs created by the television station that we have created. I rejoice when I meet people whom our church has supported spiritually and materially. From the interview given to Izvestia, Daily Newspaper Izvestia, March 15, 2001. Archbishop Garagin succeeds in inspiring national intellectuals and philanthropists with his programs and assembling them around the church. Starting from those years, amicable relations are established with the greatest national philanthropist Alec Manoogian's family. Later on, Republic of Armenia's national hero Alec Manoogian tells that his daughter Louise Manoogian Simone was inspired and involved in national life by a young clergyman. That clergyman was the future supreme patriarch of all Armenians. In the National Religious Meeting held in April 1995, Archbishop Garagin Narsisian was one of the main candidates in the patriarchal elections. During the casting of ballots, Archbishop Garagin gets the majority vote, but withdraws his candidacy. Before the elections, I had promised that if I faced the Patriarch of Cilicia in the final round, I would refuse to run. I couldn't break my word under any circumstance. That was my decision. From the interview given to Izvestia, Daily Newspaper Izvestia, March 15, 2001. Four years later, after the passing of noteworthy Patriarch Garagin I, in the Holy National Religious Meeting, Archbishop Garagin Narsisian is elected Catholicos and Supreme Patriarch of all Armenians, receiving Patriarchal Ordinance and Anointment on November 4, 1999. The year 2001 was ahead. The Armenian Apostolic Holy Church was about to celebrate with its people the 1,700th anniversary of the adoption of Christianity as an official religion. The Jubilee was included in UNESCO's calendar and was an exceptional event. It was an event that would reinforce the international reputation of the Armenian Church and voice Armenian national issues. For our church, this jubilee is essential. We are not just talking about historic self-awareness. The jubilee is a good opportunity to reinforce the church, to remedy the havoc wreaked by years of atheism. This year, we commence many projects, which will become a tradition. From the interview given to Izvestia, daily newspaper Izvestia, March 15, 2001. In the year 2000, Patriarch Garagin II begins patriarchal journeys to the diasporic dioceses of the Armenian Church. In just the year 2000, the Patriarch visits the heads of the Russian Orthodox Church, the Roman Catholic Church, the Georgian Orthodox Church, the Romanian Orthodox Church, the Gepti Orthodox Church, the Ethiopian Church, and the Anglican Church. In September 2001, they all were the guests of the Armenian Patriarch. On the occasion of the 1,700th Jubilee celebrations, Constantinople's Greek Patriarch also arrives in St. Echmiadzin. The global press notes that only because of and due to the high prestige of the Armenian Church was it possible to bring close to each other the heads of Christian churches and to sound a unified prayer to God from St. Echmiadzin. The culmination of the celebrations was the anointment of St. Gregory the Illuminator Mother Temple in Yerevan. The spiritual leaders of the grand Christian churches, 
had never been in such close spatial and temporal proximity as they were in September of 2001 when they were Armenian Patriarch Garagin II's guests. The interrelations of our peoples and churches are special. They are values that we are obligated to cherish. From the interview given to Izvestia, Daily Newspaper Izvestia, March 15, 2001. Thanks to the efforts of Patriarch Garagin II, the Gevorkian Lyceum is recognized by the government of the Republic of Armenia as a post-secondary institution, namely a theological university. With the Supreme Patriarch's undertaking, the RA government is returning territories, temples and churches back to Mother Sea where they originally belonged. A proof of the Armenian spiritual reawakening is also the fact that in the governmental calendar can be found the holidays of the Armenian Church. The year 2001 was special for the Narcissian family. The family's younger son, Father Yezras, is ordained as a bishop. Father Yezras had evinced himself wonderfully while serving in St. Petersburg. Consequently, I had no doubt that his work would gratify me in the case of the most demanding approach. From the interview given to Izvestia, daily newspaper Izvestia, March 15, 2001. In the fall of 2008, diasporic Armenians assemble around the Armenian father in order to witness and participate in the holy ceremony of the holy Muron. During the enthronement of the Supreme Patriarch of all Armenians, Garagin II, the activities of national intellectuals continue to stay in the attention of Mother C. St. Echmiadzin. Many famous activists and scientists are awarded the medals of honor such as St. Gregory the Illuminator and St. Sahak and St. Mesro of the Armenian Church by His Holiness the Patriarch. And the Armenian Church's appreciation for the national hero Alec Manugian is expressed by the fact that Patriarch Garagin II is undertaking the transfer and reburial of the sepulchres of Alec and Mary Manugian in the territory of Mother Sea. The Armenian Patriarch raises the issue of the recognition of the Armenian Genocide in high international tribunals, the UN and the US Senate. And a mandatory part of the official agenda of high-ranking religious guests arriving in Mother Sea is the visit to the monument Tsitsernakabert. The first decade of His Holiness Patriarch's enthronement is characterized as a period of the continuation and development of the holy traditions of the nation and the Church. It is hard to say which one of the beatific patriarchs of the Armenian Church had the chance to anoint more than a hundred churches and to ordain 250 clergymen just out of the seminar and the inclusion of the subject history of the Armenian Church in the mandatory curriculum of primary schools and the instruction of the Holy Liturgy is the most important of Garagin II's projects aimed for the future. On the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the enthronement of the Supreme Patriarch of all Armenians, Garagin II, is awarded with the most prestigious St. Mesrop Mashtots Medal of Honor by the Republic of Armenia for having an exceptional input in the process of preservation and development of national spiritual values. Look at our cross. Compared to others, it is not with the crucified Christ. It is a cross of resurrection. Our cross is in bloom, like the bush in spring. It is the symbol of our hope.